G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. In this video, I'm going to show you my two favorite methods for multiplying any two numbers under 100. And no surprise, these are not taught in school. They are well too awesome for that. So let's have a bit of a look at this and in no time, you're going to be multiplying faster than a rabbit. Okay, so let's have a bit of a look at this. So we'll start with an example. Uh, we're going to have 12 multiplied by 31. Something nice and easy to start off with. The first method we're going to use to multiply is we're going to use a method called rainbow multiplication and it works like this. To get the first part of our answer, we're going to get the hundredths part. And we do this by multiplying the two tens digits here. So one multiplied by three. One multiplied by three is equal to three. And as they're both tens digits, our answer is going to be equivalent to 300 there. So it's gonna be three with two spaces afterwards. To get the second part of our answer, to get the tens digit here, we're gonna multiply the following. We have two multiplied by three, and we have one multiplied by one here. And what we're going to do is add our answers together. So two multiplied by three. Two multiplied by three is six, and one multiplied by one is one. We add these together. Six plus one, we get the answer of seven. Cool. Now, to get the final part of our answer, we have the units part here. We multiply the two units digits. Two times one is equal to two. Our answer, 372. And as you can see, it's a really cool and easy trick to remember. Compare this to the second way that I'm going to show you, method number two, which is a cross multiplication method. And I like this one, I think even just a little bit more. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do the same question. We have 12 multiplied by 31. And we set this one out like this here. Uh, just much like you do a normal multiplication, but we're going to do it directly without all the mess you're working out. So, First off, we're going to get the units digit here. We go two multiplied by one. Two times one is equal to two. Now what we're going to do is get the tens digit here. And we do this by multiplying the tens digit by the units digit here and the units by the tens digit here. So one times one and two times three. There's our cross. So one times one is one plus two times three, which is six. One plus six is equal to seven. And then finally, to get the hundredths part of our answer, we multiply the two tens digits here. So one times three is equal to three. 372, the same answer, no surprise. So which one of these methods do you like better? Do you like the rainbow multiplication or do you prefer the cross multiplication? They give you the same answer, but which one would you prefer doing? Let me know in the comments or do you prefer just a standard way of multiplying? Like I said, let me know in the comments and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Now, I am going to get some harder questions here. So maybe you want to hold your comments for just a little bit until after we have a look at those. So let's try these now with some bigger numbers. So first off, we'll have a look at 43 multiplied by 52. And we're going to do the rainbow multiplication method first. So first off, we go four multiplied by five. Four times five is equal to 20. And look, this is a hundreds number, so it's like 20 times 100, which is 2000. We're going to have two spaces behind that. Now we do the rainbow multiplication to get the next part of our answer. We have three times five, which is 15, and we have two times four, which is eight. And we add these together. Now 15 plus eight is 23. So the three goes here, and the two gets moved across here. So I'm gonna rub that out, and I'm going to put the two right there. All right, finally we have the units digit, which is three multiplied by two. Three multiplied by two is six. There's our answer, 2,000. 236. All right, we'll try that with the cross multiplication method and see which one you prefer. We have 43 multiplied by 52. Okay, so let's start this off. We have three times two, which is six. We have two times four, which is eight. And we have three times five, which is 15. You can see we're getting exactly those same numbers coming through. We have uh, 15 plus eight, which is 23. Now I'm gonna put this in as follows. I'll put the three there and just a little two up there to carry across. Uh, finally, we have 4 times 5, which is 20, plus this 2 here, which is going to be 22. And there's our answer, 2,236. Cool, right? Now look, I reckon I'd be commenting right now. I'm going to tell you which one I prefer. I personally think this one here, the cross multiplication, is a little bit less messy. But if you disagree with me, or you agree with me, like I said, let me know. I'm fascinated to know this all the time. So what about a couple of these now that you can try? We'll start with 46 multiplied by 73. And then for the second question, we have 52 multiplied by 87. So pause the video, give these a go using both cross multiplication and rainbow multiplication, 
and then we'll come back and have a look at those answers. So have you done that? All right, let's have a bit of a look. So first off, we have 46 multiplied by 73. Now I'm gonna start off with rainbow multiplication. So to get the first part of our answer, we have four times seven. Seven times four is 28. So we have 28, and we're going to have two spaces after that. Now the next part of our answer, this tens part, we do the rainbow multiplication. So six times seven is 42, and we have four times three, which is 12. We add those together, and we get 54. So the four is gonna go down here. Now, if we put a five up here, and we add a five to up here, what's going to happen is it's gonna be 28 plus five. So that whole bit there is gonna to change to 33. So we have 33. Finally, we have six times three for the final part of our answer. Six times three is 18. So we put the eight here and we carry the one. So four plus one is equal to five. There you go, 3,358. We better check my answer using cross multiplication. So let's go 46 multiplied by 73. All right, don't need as much space for this one. I think this is why I prefer this particular method. Uh, six times three is equal to 18. We carry the one there. Now what we have is we have the tens part. We have four times three, which is 12. And we have six times seven, which is 42. The same numbers that we had up there, right? Uh, so that's going to add up once again to 54 plus one is 55. So five there, carry the five. Finally, we have seven fours of 28. 28 plus five is equal to 33. There you go, 3,358. So you're pretty certain of that answer. This method here is a whole lot less messy, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a look at another example here. Let's have a look at 52 multiplied by 87. So now let's start with this. So first off, we have five times eight, which is equal to 40. 40 is a nice, easy number two little uh, blank spots afterwards, and we do our rainbow multiplication. We have two times eight, two times eight is equal to 16, and then we have five times seven, which is equal to 35. So we add those guys together, we're going to get 51. The one's going to go here, and the zero is going to become a five. Then what we have is two times seven. Two times seven is equal to 14. So the four goes down here, and we add one to the one here, which is going to make that a two. We have our answer, 4,524. Let's check that answer, right? Never know how I'm going to go with these ones. So let's go 52 multiplied by 87. All right, so let's do this. Uh, first off, we have uh, two times seven, which is four, carry the one. We have five times seven, which is 35, and we have two times eight, which is 16, which once again adds up to 51, Plus one here is a two, 52. Put the two there, carry the five. Finally, we have five times eight, which is 40, plus five, so we have 45. Our answer, 4,524 once again, looking pretty good. So there you have it. In my opinion, the two best methods for multiplying any two numbers under 100. We have the rainbow method, and my preferred method of all, which is that cross multiplication method. Which one do you prefer though? Let me know in the comments. And if you like these methods, please remember, hit the like button, and subscribe for more math tricks. Anyway, that's all there is for this particular video. Thank you for watching so far. A big shout out to my patrons and a big shout out to my subscribers. Thank you all. Your support's always well appreciated. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching once again.